All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Call of the Night episode five. Uh, I've obviously missed two episodes on my channel. One of them being because, well, actually both of them being because um, I was away on holiday. Uh, but I'm obviously back now, back with episode five. Did watch both the episodes. Last episode is especially so good. Uh, I really, really enjoyed Akira's character. Everything about her from the kind of moment where uh, Cole kind of explains where her goal with uh, Nazuna was. Uh, it was very wholesome, very supportive, understanding. She's obviously lived a very mundane and just dull life up, up, up until this point. And obviously Ko fills, fills that with, I don't know, <laughs> enjoyment, I guess. Um, and it was just really sweet to see. She's super nice. I don't know whether it will come down to the fact that she'll actually properly fall for Ko. Um, but from what I can tell at the moment, it's just kind of like there's no love in that way there she's just a really good friend and i kind of hope it stays that way there doesn't always have to be romantic feelings between you know the male male and female characters in anime and i really like that um but yeah super wholesome episode akira best best girl maybe i don't know um but yeah i look forward to this episode so as always guys like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's go into this episode right now my thing with this, which I kind of noticed in the last episode, why is she not burning alive from the sun? Do vampires not work like that in this universe either? Maybe she can go out in the day but just doesn't want to, like maybe it makes her super tired or something, I don't know. <laughs> Average gamer. This big ass apartment she has. Oh, I freaking hate those. God. Delivery people are fucking useless sometimes. I swear to God with those goddamn cards. Sorry we missed you. No, you didn't. Most of all these colourful doors. Big ass apartment, bro. Everybody's just coming home from work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's so cute. Oh, she's going to a bathhouse. Oh, Nazano with her hair down. Very different. Oh, she can't see her reflection. <laughs> oh. See, it's got normal kind of vampire tropes like this, but some tropes it doesn't have. Did she just go out naked? Oh, she went out with her hair down. <laughs> She's barely wearing any clothes. Oh my god. She does sue her hair down. <laughs> I like how she rushed out super fast though. That's cute. Is it a mixed bath or is it... I, I suppose it's like a gender specific one. Your heart is always busy. What do you mean by that? That's true. Yeah. Sometimes you can be having so much fun that you just don't realise how tired and shit it's making you. He's starting to notice elements about her that he actually kind of finds attractive, it looks like. It's different. Different change of scenery. And plus she's barely wearing any clothes, it looks like. Both good thoughts and bad ones. Ooh, damn, Ko. Can you suck my blood right now? He wants to know if he's in love right now. Really? Interesting. He doesn't understand what love feels like, so every time he has one of these moments where he's not sure what he's feeling, he's like, let me test this. I like guess she always goes for the exact same spot on his neck. So she just doesn't leave him full of holes. She's going to suck him dry. He's going to pass out. Painful and arousing. Wow. Oh, is this a love hotel? <laughs> she knew what it was. That's funny. Did she just jump right between him? Oh, right on him. Wow. 
She knows, bro. Yeah, literally, she can make all the jokes she wants, but the minute he mentions love, she's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> She'd probably do that stuff for him if he asked as well, because it's nothing to do with love. Yeah, I wonder what his blood would taste like when he's sad or angry or something. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's pay to view. Oh, I like all the, how all the emotions were getting shown on the TV as he was saying them. That was cool. Oh, he's like, how many people have you slept with? <laughs> How many bodies do you have? He's literally getting jealous. That's so funny. I assume she hasn't sucked anybody else's blood since being with Ko. And now you're the only one. Oh, that's sweet. Kind of, I guess. <laughs> so she invited people over and they probably had some different thoughts in their mind. A professional cuddler, of course. Yeah, that's pretty good. Obviously, if she can protect herself, so she'll never get super weirdos, I guess. Oh my god, she gets people to pay? Gets them to pay, gets them to fall asleep, then sucks their blood. That's hilarious. I swear I had nothing dirty on my mind. <laughs> but now... It's really cute how she always keeps the watch on. I'm probably more jealous than I think. Oh, Ko. But oh, Q. Do these things actually work? Like pressure points and stuff? Oh, yeah, I've seen that a lot in anime, actually. That's cool. These are cool. I'm actually going to look these up after this. Oh, does she specifically do it on that spot? Oh, damn. He is in vampire mode. Is it a delivery guy? Who the hell is this? Oh, a customer. You just suck blood. Are you not good? Is she really going to want a massage from a 14-year-old? He has no clue about massages. Maybe she liked getting massaged by Nazana. Wow. God. Damn right. You know he's not like that. Oh, is she not making any money? <laughs> You got a point. Just to get money from somewhere. It's not like 20 pounds. Do exactly what you did? I mean, I guess she didn't do anywhere risky. Is she going to kiss him again? She, kn she knows exactly what he likes. That was the end of the episode. Oh my god. God, these episodes go so quick. Alright, so that was Call of the Nice, episode 5. Really enjoying this anime so far. Um, I love the way um, Nazana teases Ko in some ways. And obviously in other ways as well. I like Ko. He's like um, a refreshing anime character. Someone who really doesn't understand their feelings for anyone. Uh, he has these little moments of lust, which, fair enough. He's like 14. He's probably going through puberty. Um, yeah, which is, I mean, it's, it's really nice to see. It's development, I suppose, in just a different kind of way. Um, Nazan is a really sweet character. She's really nice, but she also does a lot of uh, lewd stuff. But she's teaching him about things um, and the way the, work, the world works. I was hoping we'd see Akira again this episode, but I guess after we just had two episodes of her, that's fair enough. Um, back onto the main duo, I suppose. Um, but yeah, really good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next episode to see how Ko is going to possibly give a proper massage to someone, but... Yeah, development, I guess. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day and peace out.